Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back. I'm, oh, I was joined by Roxy. She's gone. Rox, do you want, I thought you were sitting right here. Come here. Okay, never mind. It's time for empties. So, uh, let's get to it. Um, not a whole lot. Little bits and pieces, I guess. Whatever. Okay, upstairs, <clears throat> I finished <clears throat> again. Uh, upstairs, I have three full-size warmers and a plug-in. Downstairs, I have five full-size warmers. And some of these things, like I didn't melt all in one week. I finished them in one week, less, such as this, Rise and Sunshine, which was a scent of the month for July. And I really, really enjoy that one a lot. Uh, from Destination Wax, Lime Sugar. I really like this. Destination Wax, if you don't follow me, you know, you may not know, but those of you who do, Destination Wax is one of my top vendors. I love Destination Wax. Uh, and I love lime sugar. It's like pink sugar, except with instead of berries, it's lime. Uh, lime, anise, hazelnut, sugar, musk, and rose. Similar to pink sugar, but with lime instead of raspberry. Right. Oh, yeah, this is really good. It was a great thrower. It's very zesty. Definitely check out lime sugar if you like lime scents from Destination Wax. Also from Destination Wax, I'm getting. It was, I did a lot of Destination Wax. Well, not a lot, but some <clears throat> to get rid of the older stuff so I can start melting my new stuff. This was from March, Day of the Dead, which was Neroli, Lime, and Frankincense. This was good. Definitely the frankincense uh, was the top note for me. If you like kind of, <clears throat> I don't know, patchouli or incense-y kind of things, <clears throat> pardon me, that one was good. Uh, banana apple bread. Oh, this one was really good as well. Warm banana bread with apple chunks, walnuts, and cinnamon. And this was very good. Rebecca does very good banana. It's hard, so difficult to find good banana, authentic banana, but Rebecca from Destination Wax does. And this one was good. And the throw on this one, the throw on the lime sugar is probably eight. The throw on the frankincense, I would say it's pretty decent. Seven and a half, seven. And banana apple bread was seven to eight. Also a good thrower. Uh, karma is patchouli, orange, lemongrass, uh, cassis, pine, fir, resin, and a touch of cinnamon. Holy smokes. Um, anyway, this was heavy on the patchouli. That was the top note. So if you like patchouli, definitely I can recommend Karma. I did not get too much of the orange or the lemongrass, which I kind of thought would make a nice blend. Uh, but I definitely got patchouli on that one. Also seven to eight thrower. And lime cooler is sweet tart lime, orange, apple, blackcurrant, plum. Candyish rather than real fruit. And I would have to agree with that. I definitely loved, love uh, lime sugar more than this one. I like, I like lime cooler. It definitely is that you get the lime. It's sweet. Uh, but I like, I think lime cooler is more authentic and it's more zesty limey, if you know what I mean. The throw on this one was not as strong as the other ones. I would give Lime Cooler a three. I'm not a three, a six, a six. So out of that batch, definitely Lime cool, lime, lime Sugar. Where are we? Of course it's the one. Lime Sugar is the one to go for, if you like lime, in my opinion. Okay, so that was upstairs. Downstairs, <clears throat> from Sensi. I melted rainbows and butterflies, and that is tomorrow's Scentsy Saturday, so we're not gonna chat about that. I melted a caramel sugar cone, and I really enjoyed this one. I've never melted this, this before. This was new, or new to me, in last season's uh, catalog, Spring Summer. Um, was it Spring Summer? Or the one before that? I don't know, it's been in there a while. But anyway, it was good. Uh, Definitely sweet, caramely. Uh, did I get the cone? A little bit, but mainly I got a sweet uh, caramel note, and I really liked it. This will be good for mixing, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to think about mixing that, because I think I have another one in there. Okay, also from Sensi, uh, I got through some testers in my uh, tea light warmer. And let's see. Okay, so I mixed... Farm stand pumpkin and weathered leather, which kind of sounds weird, but I'm just trying to mix new things up for my uh, VIP group. Monday is Mix It Monday. So I'm just pulling out stuff and giving it a go. And some things work, 
Some things don't, uh, but this one did work actually. Pumpkin and leather, and it turned out pretty good. I enjoyed it. <clears throat> what are you doing? Girls, Roxy, what are you doing? Stella, 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 Stella. I swear to God, they're deaf. They're deaf. They're really deaf. Rox, Roxy, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Here comes Roxy. Come on. Come on. Come say hi. Here you go. Here you go, pretty girl. Here you go. Roxy has pretty green eyes. She's very pretty. All right. What's a video without kitty talk? I'm so sorry. Okay, moving on. Perfect Peppermint, and I mixed this with Mocha Doodle, and this also was a good mix. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good mix, no problems there. And then I melted Gingerbread Donut separately one day, and I melted Eskimo Kiss, which is in the current catalog right now. And then, oh, another one, Apple and Cinnamon Sticks. I melted that as well. This was more cinnamon than apple, but it was okay. I didn't mind it. And then, let's, oh, I have some empties. Um, this was a sample. I had one square left from Rainbow Melts in Waffleberry Fluff. This was very good. Vanilla waffles, wildberry mousse, and fluffy marshmallow. So it was a creamy, a creamy berry waffle. Like, uh, think of um, pumpkin pecan waffles. That waffle note plus berries. It was really good. I really enjoyed that one a lot. Um, this was, oh, oh, and somebody told me what this was and now I forgot. Pacific Northwest from Super Tarts. I have no idea what the scent notes are, but it was good. The throw was, this one is very fresh, I think. I'm getting a fresh air vibe, something, I don't know. Um, maybe some, I was going to say some pine or cedar notes or something since it's at Pacific Northwest. Anyway, it was very fresh. It was clean. The throw was pretty decent, about a seven on that. I finished, I didn't remember, I didn't get through the whole bag, but I finished uh, Vintage Chic Scents. Jane Eyre loves Doc, Mr. Rochester. I love this. Lavender cream and Earl Grey tea. And uh, this is compliments of, I think I had got a little bit myself and then I loved it. And I, I was, I think I posted in, um, in one of the D-Stash uh, groups that I was looking for more and Shara from Shara Scents had more and she sent it to me. So uh, thank you, Shara, for that. And also I finished uh, Absolutely Fabulous Lattes by Sassy Girl Aroma. And this also is very good. There is like a million and one scent notes on there, really. I can't even read all the scent notes because first of all, it's too small. Oh, well, I could read it, but really, <clears throat> I guess my nose is not as sophisticated as others because when it gets, when there's three lines of scent notes, it's all gonna get muddled and I can't pick out one or the other. However, to me, this is a very nice, creamy coffee. It's just a creamy coffee to me. I, maybe I guess all those things kind of combine and that's what it's supposed to be. But uh, the scent notes are, well, let me just read them since I can right now and tomorrow I may not. Uh, rich, moist, white cake with hints of silky white chocolate and sweet cream. Shredded, toasted coconut coated with sweet vanilla, caramel, and coffee. So I guess, yeah, I guess it's a creamy, a creamy coffee blend. So that's good. And this uh, is from uh, Teresa T42. And Char and Teresa both have channels, so check out their channels. And uh, something I was working on but did not finish is from Rainbow Melts Mellow in one of these snap bars, which I am madly in love with, snap bars. Earl Grey Tea, Citrus, and Sage Leaves. Snap bars are so easy to store. because da, 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 da. Uh, And just as the name implies, uh, you just snap off as many uh, cubes as you want. <laughs> yeah, this was really, really good. Definitely you get the tea and the sage. A little bit of citrus on the back end, but I am I got the tea and the sage and it was really good. So I'm hoping Crystal will put out some more snap bars soon. Crystal, if you're listening, snap bars, please. All right, that's it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I hope everybody has a great day. 
I don't even mind bother trying. Okay, I hope you have a great day. It's the weekend. It's going to be a great weekend. Um, and tomorrow is Sensi Saturday. And uh, bring back my bar. Voting is open. Bring back my bar. Go to my website. It's down below. Look for to scroll down till you see bring back my bar. I am really hoping for let's all get together and vote for some ones that are we haven't seen in a while. We all know um, sweet plum pastry and this, that, and the other, the popular ones. I want to see some new ones like vanilla oud or vanilla woods, or uh, there was one called Dominique, or there's like there's a whole bunch of unique blends. That's what I would love to see get voted back. Just my thoughts. Anyhow, have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye.